The Messenger وسلم, says in the authentic hadith when it's the first night in Ramadan, the gates of paradise will be open, the gates of the hellfire will be shut, and the shayateen, the main leader devils, will be chained and locked down. And this is not mere symbolism, this is truth. This is true. These things happen in the world of the unseen. So the world changes. In Ramadan, the world changes. Shayateen, the most influential of shayateen, the most destructive of shayateen, will be locked down. They won't be able to travel around and affect people as they used to do outside Ramadan. So they're chained. They're limited. The gates of paradise will be opened. They'll be wide open. And this has an impact on us. It has an impact on us. The dynamics of what happens in the world change. The gates of the hellfire will be locked. They will be locked. And this will have an influence on us. The scholars of Islam are agreed upon a fact. That we humans have two natures. Two dual natures. One is spiritual, that's our soul. That's our soul, that's the invisible part of who we are. And this has a life of its own. And there is the visible side of us, which is the physical side that we can see and touch. The spiritual side of us has more of an angelic nature. It yearns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the physical side of us is more like the animals. It's all about eating, drinking, reproducing, and the physical desires and the physical attachments and orientations that we have. And upon death, these two natures will be separated. The soul will depart the body. The soul is part of the world of the unseen. We can't touch it. We can't smell it. We can't taste it. We can't even hear it. That's the soul, but that's who we really are. Haqiqatul mar'i nafsuhu, as the scholars say. The reality of a human being, the essence of a human being is his soul. Is when the soul departs the body, the body turns into a corpse. Turns into pieces, pieces of flesh and bones that will decompose. It has no life of its own. So the spiritual nature of us is part of the unseen. It feels things that happen in the world of the unseen. So when the gates of paradise are open, this, Im this impacts our spiritual nature. This impacts our spiritual nature. When the gates of the hellfire are locked, this impacts our spiritual nature. Some part of, our, part of us feels that. The Prophet ﷺ says in the authentic hadith, which is in a sahih, مَا جَلَسَ قَوْمٌ فِي بَيْتٍ مِّن بُيُوتِ اللَّهِ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَيَتَدَارَسُونَهُ بَيْنَهُمْ إِلَّا نَزَلَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّكِينَةِ وَحَثَّتْهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ وَذَكَرَهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي مَنْ عِنْدَهُ Any group of people who gather together in a masjid, in one of the houses of Allah, they recite the book of Allah, the words of Allah, and they study it. Except that, serenity, peace and tranquility will descend upon them. And the angels will rub shoulders with them. Angels will be among them, around them, rubbing shoulders with them. And Allah would mention them to the highest ranking angels. Some of the scholars as they were commenting on this hadith, they say a sakina, which is tranquility and peace that descends upon them, is a sign of the presence of the angels. As Imam Al-Qayyim says in, a, in more than one of his books. He says a sakina comes with the angels. This peace and tranquility and serenity that you feel sometimes when you're reciting Quran or reading Quran or listening to a lecture or attending a halaqa or praying behind an imam or doing something good. This sakina shows the angels are around. It marks the, the presence of the angels. You don't figure this out with your brain. You don't feel the angels physically. You don't touch them. You don't smell them. You can't see them and you can't hear them. So which part of you figures them out? 
that feels this sakin and this peace and serenity and tranquility which part of you is the spiritual side of you so since we feel the pre our souls feel the presence of the angels don't you think the soul feels that the gates of paradise are open the gates of the hellfire are locked the shayateen are locked down it does and that's why most of us feel in Ramadan more eagerness to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you find more peace and more tranquility because the pray the fragrance of paradise reaches your soul it recognizes that at a subtle level that you cannot capture with your senses so that's what happens during Ramadan this is what happens this is why Ramadan is a special time these things are not a figment of imagination that we that we're just talking about in a, in a symbolic sense these are realities of life these are things that are happening so when the first night of Ramadan the the dynamics of the world change and your soul respond, responds to that so this is why Ramadan is a point for us to really upgrade our iman upgrade our the level of our taqwa and connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala